Hello, I'm James Elton Pym for Triple H News Desk, and I'm in the Golston Gorge at the moment. Uh, I've just been in Golston with Declan Gooch, who's driving the car, uh, driving the News Corolla. Uh, we've just been in Golston, talking to locals there about what the effects are when Golston Gorge gets shut down due to an oversized truck getting stuck in the gorge. And that's a news piece that I'm working on for this week's episode of News Desk. Um, the problem is basically that people are trying to drive trucks well in excess of the 7.5 metre restriction As through the hairpin yes, bend. Have a look at this. Look at this, this bend. It's going to be embarrassing if I do a terrible job. That kind of bend. You can understand why the RMS has put a 7.5 metre restriction on the length of vehicles that can do this. Uh, but it's been consistently disobeyed and so trucks as large as 12 metres have tried to take on those bends and predictably they get stuck and that holds up traffic potentially for hours uh, while they get removed. Um, now the RMS has put in a lot of measures already, here's one, another one of the bends, uh, to try and stop the trucks doing this. Declan, what have they done already? Well, already they've put in these uh, camera sensing systems up the top that are supposed to sort of activate flashing lights, to the best of my knowledge. Um, when a, an oversized truck goes past them, but then we've had problems where trucks have actually, um, I mean, this, this uh, ute seems to be having a bit of trouble actually getting around this bend. Yeah. Um, but we've had tr problems where oversized trucks in the past have um, crossed onto the other side of the road to avoid the sensing of the cameras. Right. Um, and uh, become stuck, so that's obviously just completely stupid because they've gone past, what, half a dozen signs by that point. That's right, there are a lot of signs at the top of the gorge, probably, yeah, over a dozen signs, often with flashy lights letting you know not to come in if you've got a truck over the size of 7.5 metres. Um, so what the RMS has done in response, and what we're going to talk about in the news desk, uh, is they've made a tougher restriction uh, on a tougher penalty, I should say, on drivers who take oversized trucks down here. Uh, the new penalty is a $2,200 fine for the driver themselves of the truck, as well as the suspension of the license of the company that sends them there. So very tough laws, uh, and I guess the hope is that it's going to be a stronger deterrent to stop people coming down uh, in those oversized vehicles. So Declan, what is the implication when someone does that? Uh, obviously there's a fairly significant delay. Well, obviously, this, this road is one of two roads that connects Warnsby to the Hills District, the other one being Penn and Hills Road. And there's a big, uh, a lot, lot of space in between this Golston Gorge and Penn and Hills Road. Um, and um, obviously, if people can't get down here, this is a major arterial, ro arterial road. People are just going to get stuck. They're not going to be able to get to school or not going to be able to get to work or pick up their kids from school without going all the way down. Um, down through Pennant Hills, down through Thornley, Normanhurst, um, and back up around here to Gorston. Um, the long way, the much longer way. Mm. Now the locals that we did talk to, uh, a lot of them had experience being stuck uh, in the gorge. One woman said that she had been made to be late for work on several occasions because of being stuck behind a truck uh, and being very inconvenienced on a number of occasions by that. So we've got interviews with the locals from Gorston. I've got an interview with the RMS about this new measure that they've taken. Uh, so it'll be interesting to hear all of that. Tune in Wednesday 9am, uh, Triple H News Desk, 100.1 FM. And if you miss the show, you can catch up with podcasts on our Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Triple H News Desk. I uh, hope you can tune in then. Bye.